Hi, my name is Gina Jamesville and welcome to the final part in the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. So far we have won some awesome outfits and in this part we get to win the remaining ones. We get a witch, a ghost, a pirate, a zombie. We get the monster outfits for the toddlers, the purple and the orange monsters. So many costumes with this final part of the quest. So let's take a look at what the first thing is we need to do. We need to show Misty our scaring skills. Your sim has received more costumes from the purple monsters and is better at scaring than ever. Misty appears and says the orange monster is in the park. Are you ready? Have a sim show Misty their new and improved scaring skills. So, so Misty is over at our house. Let's click on her and show improved skills for five minutes. Okay, we have shown Misty our scaring skills. Now we need to send a sim to the park. Wow, Misty smiles after getting her breath back. Your sim was terrifying. This might just work. Send a sim to the park where the orange monster is waiting. Right, so over to the park. So let's whistle over a sim from the tracker and that is task complete. Now we need to scare the orange monster. The orange monster grins, a sinister grin as your sim enters the park. But your sim isn't scared. Have a sim scare the orange monster in the park. So let's see, where is this orange monster? Oh, here he is, over here. Click on him and scare for two hours 30. We've finished scaring the orange monster. Now hide behind a park bench. The orange monster looks shocked for a moment, but then bursts out laughing and continues to eat candy. The plan has failed and your sim backs away feeling afraid again. Quick, hide behind a park bench and think of something. Okay, let's go to a park bench. Click on the park bench and hide for two hours. We have finished hiding behind the bench. Now need to talk to Misty. As your sim hides, they notice something strange. The purple monsters also look terrified of the orange monster. That's why they'll do whatever it wants. They're afraid of it. Talk to Misty about this in the park. So Misty should be in the park somewhere. Let's have a little, oh here she is. So talk to her for nine hours 30. Okay, there we go. We have finished talking to Misty. Now we need to place candy on the ground. Misty says perhaps if your sim showed the purple monsters kindness, they wouldn't be so afraid and might even help you. It's worth a try. Have a sim place a piece of candy on the X at a home. So we are over at a house now and there'll be an X just at the front by your mailbox and your bin. Click on that and place candy for 4 hours and 30 minutes. Candy has been placed on the ground. Now we need to send a sim back to the park. A purple monster appears, eats the candy and smiles. It worked. Don't scare them, just make friends. Maybe your new friends can help your sim at the park. Send a sim to the park. So our other sim is still over at the park, I think. So who was it? Was it Ezra? Yes, Ezra is already over at the park. If you haven't got a sim already at the park, obviously just go over to the park and use the sim tracker to whistle one over. Now we need to distract the orange candy monster. The orange monster looks at your sim as they approach again and laughs with confidence, but your sim knows what to do. Have a sim distract the orange candy monster in the park. So where is this orange candy monster? Here he is. And distract for 6 hours and 30 minutes. There we go, we have finished distracting the orange candy monster. Now we need to place candy around the orange monster. Great, the orange monster was distracted and its back is turned. Maybe now your sim can use the purple monsters to help really scare him. Have a sim place candy on the X markers at the park. So we have X markers, so we need to place candy for 1 hour 25. Do we need to do this on all of the X's? Uh, no, I don't think we do. No, we just have to do it on one of the X's. Task complete, place candy around the orange monster. Now we need to scare the orange monster. The purple monsters now surround the orange one and aren't scared anymore. Your sim is ready to perform the mega scare. Quickly, have a sim scare the orange monster. Okay, click on the orange monster and scare for one second. He's a bit smelly, isn't he? Oops, he needs a shower. There we go, task complete, scare the orange monster. Now we need to hug the orange monster. Scared for the first time in its life, the orange monster shrieks, then says, ashamed, I, I'm sorry, I never knew what it felt like to be scared. Your sim feels sorry for the orange monster. Have a sim give the orange monster a hug. So hug for three seconds. Oh, a different sim is doing the hugging than doing the scaring. Oh, that's cute though, <laughs> bless. Oh, there we go. Task completed. We've hugged the monster. 
Have four sims in a home. The orange monster responds warmly to your sims' kindness. Perhaps it would like to attend your sims' Halloween party. Send four sims to a home. The purple monsters and Misty will come too. Let's go over to a home and bring four sims over. I think we might have a home already with four sims over. I think this one has four sims over. Oh, I was collecting candy pieces from the previous part. Yeah, there we go. We have four sims over in a home. If you haven't obviously got four sims in a home, just whistle them over using the sim tracker. Now we need to dance to spooky party music with everyone together and your sims... Oh. With everyone together and your sims' new candy monster friends, it's time to have fun. Have four sims dance to spooky party music on a stereo. Misty and the monsters will join in. So let's click on the stereo and dance to spooky music for 14 minutes. And we need four sims doing this. So just click on join in, join in, join in. And that is task completed. That completes straight away. You don't have to wait for the 14 minutes. And that is the whole quest complete, 100% done. Congratulations. You earned the Halloween costume pack. Dress all of your Sims in their favorite Halloween outfit. So as you can see there, it looks like we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new costumes from this part of the quest. So let's take a little look at the prizes that we won from this last part of the quest. For the toddlers, we won the monster outfits. Now these are the same for boy and girl. We both we got the orange and the purple monster outfits. How cute are they? I absolutely adore them. So the boy or the girl toddlers can wear the pink, not the pink, the purple or the orange monster costume. For the preteen girl, we won the misty outfit, which is a bit freaky. Look at those eyes. The preteen boy, we want this skeleton pirate outfit. I like this one. The teen girl got this undead cheerleader outfit, which I don't know, it's not my favourite. The teen boy got this kind of Viking Nordic -y type costume. I quite like that one actually. The adult male got this vampire kind of outfit. And the adult female got this witch outfit here. So there you go, there are all the outfits and the costumes that we won with the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this quest, if you were new to it this year, did you complete it all, did you manage to get all of the costumes and which one is your favourite? Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful Halloween, whatever you get up to, let me know down in the comments what you do for Halloween. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!